Welcome back to the channel. Recently I did a video called the five reasons why you should not buy the Avatar 2. And in that video I did mention that there are a lot more things right with the Avatar 2 than they are wrong. So in this video I'm going to go through the not five but 15 reasons for why you should buy the Avatar 2. And I'm going to do it in five minutes as before. So let's get started. So reason number one, the Vata 2 has a larger camera sensor. It's a 1 over 1.3 as opposed to a 1 over 1.7 sensor. And that gives us better video performance and better low light performance. Reason number two ties in with the camera sensor in that we now have the ability to shoot in HDR, which allows us to get nice, rich, vibrant blue skies with detail in the shadows and just better performance in high contrast situations. The third reason is the ability to record in DLOP-M, which just allows you to put more of a creative spin on your footage, make it stand out. That's quite important in this day and age where there's just so much footage, so much FPV and drone footage out there. Being able to individualize it with your own color grades is just super, super important. Reason number four, the flight time. For an FPV drone like this, to be able to do 20 minute flights is absolutely staggering and amazing. So that's a massive plus for this drone. Reason number five, it's much quieter than the Avatar one and it's also a different pitch, which is gonna attract less attention to yourself if you're flying in crowded places. Reason number six, now with the fragility of the design set aside, which is an issue, but I'm not gonna go into that. The overall design of this drone otherwise is fantastic. It's got great accessibility to the SD card slot and the USB-C slot. The battery system is much improved. It just works really well. And it generally it's just a very nicely thought out drone. So great design. Reason number seven, the Avatar 2 sports an 04 transmission system, which has limitations in terms of backwards compatibility, but as a system in its own right, it's got fantastic range and really low latency, and that's a massive plus point for the Avatar 2 as well. Reason number eight are the goggles that are supplied with the Avatar 2. These are my favorite DJI goggles so far because they have a different design, like more of a passive ceiling system, which fits to any shaped face. And if you have a thin face like myself, or you found that previous goggles didn't work very well, chances are these are gonna work much better and you'll avoid light leakage. Great. Reason number nine, staying on the subject of the goggles, you have a built-in fan, and as it gets hotter and goggles are gonna start steaming up, that's gonna become invaluable and another nice feature with these goggles. Reason number 10 is Easy Acro, which is a bit of a gimmick, but it does allow you to do some pretty cool maneuvers in tight spaces, even if you're not too experienced. The 180 degree drift function, for example, is fantastic and quite difficult to master in tight spaces, even if you're quite experienced. Reason number 11, Rocksteady, which is basically the built-in video stabilization software in the Avatar 2. So much improved from the previous version that we had in the Avatar 1, almost on par with Gyroflow and very, very powerful if you're just looking for a very simple way to stabilize your footage out of the box. Brilliant. Reason number 12, the Avatar 2 now has a whopping 46 gigabytes of built-in storage, which is more than we get with drones like the Mavic 3 Pro. And that's great, and it's a very usable amount of storage to have in this drone. Reason number 13 has only recently been added via a firmware update, and that's the ability to shoot in 4K 100 frames per second. And that's amazing, because if we're trying to slow down your footage, action shots, things like that, on a 25 frames per second export, we can slow the footage down to 25%, which is fantastic and can produce some really stunning results. The Avatar 1 only had 60 frames per second, but the O3 Air unit had 120 frames per second 4K, so hopefully we can get up to that level as well. Reason number 14 ties in with the fact that the drone is quite fragile. Now the positive aspect here is that the Kia refresh option is not only cheap in the first instance, so it's about 59 pounds to purchase in the UK for one year, but also the replacements thereafter, if you have a complete write-off, are really not expensive at all. I think it's about 34 pounds, 39 pounds. So all in all, when you crash this, it's not gonna cost you too much to get replaced, provided you have Kia Refresh. Reason number 15, value for money. The Vata 2 Fly More package with three batteries, motion controller and goggles can be bought for 1,050 pounds, which is actually incredibly, incredibly cheap for what you're getting. Um, the drone itself with one battery can be bought for £430 
And if you're talking to anyone who flies FPV, a decent FPV drone with 4K camera and a good 4K camera and a battery for under 430 pounds is pretty hard work. So that's a, another great positive for this. So there we have it. That's my 15 reasons for why you should buy the Vasa 2. It's not a perfect drone and it does have some flaws, but it's got so many things right with it and it's got such a good price point that I can't recommend it enough. Certainly if you're looking for a drone which produces stunning videos and is good fun to fly, then this is definitely the one for you. Hopefully DJI can fix some of its flaws through firmware updates in future. Things like the yaw drop or the backwards compatibility might be fixable or might be improved on in future. But even as it stands at the moment, it's still a fantastic drone and very recommendable. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, happy flying and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.